Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be making... It's very Big Bird inspired. I'm a bird. And we're going to be making this today with my baby serum. Not sponsored. So to get the sound we want, it is actually a combination of two different synths. And let's dive right in. I started with this melody here. As you can hear, it's pretty simple, repetitive, and it works with the chord progression that I've chosen. So the first sound layer is the one that you're hearing right now, it's this pluck. And I combine it with this bell here. So let's go into how to make that first sound. So we'll start with a brand new MIDI track, put Serum on there. And what this synth essentially is, is just a sine wave and a square wave being run through a filter and an envelope just to get that pluck noise. First thing we're gonna do is set oscillator A into analog BD sine. I love sine waves when sound designing because especially if you want to make analog sounds, they're just super clean. They can be run through so many different filters and keep their sound quality as well. So heck yeah, sine waves rule. So we're going to keep all of these settings here at default. Next, oscillator B. I'm going to set this to basic shapes. So that's also in this menu here. And then we'll bring it down an octave just to give a bit of an octave spread between the two oscillators. And then go over here to wavetable position and turn it until it's square. So that's technically number four. And it looks like this. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into this, the warp menu, and set it to sync. Just the first one, no window. Next, we're gonna turn this up until it's about 1.3. You can hear how that changes it, but we're just going to keep it to this. Next, we're going to put a filter on it because you can hear there's a lot of harsh highs coming through. So we'll turn that on. We're going to set it to MG12, and that's the default one there. And when you have a filter on, make sure we're running both oscillators through. So just click the A and the B there so that both oscillators are going through the filter. Now that's a little low, so let's bring back some of these highs. We're going to take cutoff and bring it up to 880. And then give it a bit more tonality by upping this resonance a bit, about 50%. Next thing, we want to turn this into an actual pluck. And we do that down here with envelope. Easiest way to make a pluck is to start by just taking off sustain. So turn this all the way down. Then you can adjust attack and release here for optimal pluckiness. So you can make it like that, but let's bring it down. And I kept it around one millisecond. And then I up the release a little more to give it a bit more tail. So with the release, I have it around 630. And that's basically the synth, but we can make it cooler with a few of Serum's effects. So if we go into effects here, I can add a flanger and a chorus, and just turn the mix down a little. Turn the rate down a little as well, and you're just kind of using your ears for this. I'm not putting any specific settings. But I'm just listening to give it a bit more wideness and space. Finally, you can put a delay on it. Do the same thing in the feedback and mix and this just gives it a bit more wideness and space just like I said so that's the synth we just need to process it a little bit so for this put the old trusty best friend in Ableton OTT and I turn the output up just to give it a bit more gain here is the magical plugin to give it that full bitbird sound and it's called RC20 it's a lo-fi plugin I got this plugin because it's really fast at making stuff sound lo-fi. Now you could do this all with stock plugins, but I just find RC20 is way, way faster at it and I value my time. So I swear this video is not sponsored by RC20 either, but I have a little present for you. 
I've actually made a rack here out of the Ableton stock plugins that you can use to get a similar effect. Got the same knobs as RC20. And then finally, what I do for this synth is I will put an EQ. And that's the first synth done. So next we're gonna make this. Excuse me. Officer, officer. Producer police reporting for duty. What is it? Uh, he's making sounds. There's nothing wrong with making sounds. But he isn't referencing an original track or original sound. How dare he? This is questionable. How is he supposed to make sound if he doesn't have any kind of reference or isn't even trying to recreate an original sound? <laughs> okay, hang on a second. I'm making these sounds inspired by Bitbird and Drollo. I'm not trying to recreate an exact sound. Because sometimes you'll be listening to a lot of music and you just want to capture that vibe that you're getting from the music you're listening to. At the end of the day, this is what makes your songs unique. You're taking inspiration from other places, making it your own, adding your own sort of flavor to it. So don't get overwhelmed if you can't make sounds exactly as you hear them or you can't recreate something exactly as the original. The goal is just to do your best and have fun with it. And my goal with these videos is to help you understand the tools better so you can use them more effectively and use them more efficiently in order to achieve that. So let's get back to the sound. That's a real bit birdie. So this one's pretty similar as well. It uses the same idea of the filter and envelope to create a pluck, but we're just gonna be running a few different oscillators through it and one major change to add that clonk. First thing we're gonna do on this one is set oscillator A back to our sine wave. Frickin' king. Turn octave up to one. Next, I'm gonna go into the warp menu and we're gonna set it to PWM aka pulse with modulation. We're gonna use this later, so don't worry about anything now. So let's open up oscillator B, and we're gonna set this to basic shapes. Set the wavetable position to the triangle, so that's number three, and that's what it looks like. Now we're gonna do sync once again, but we're gonna turn it up to about 5.1 so that we get it really sounding tinny and metallic. Oh dang, we got those harsh highs again. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna run it through a filter. Same deal. Turn it on and make sure both A and B are running through it. Cutoff needs to be a bit higher because we still want that bell sound. So around 1100. And resonance back to 50%. We want those highs, but not all of them. Back to our envelope, we're gonna do the same thing. Sustain all the way down for maximum pluckiness. I'm gonna turn the attack all the way to zero, decay down to 420, and a bit more release. So we want it to ring out. Now we got maximum pluck, but we're missing the very important clunk. <laughs> So I'm on the stream and I'm making this synth. And as I'm making it, the chat's like, oh, it needs more plonk. Funny that we all just kind of know what we mean when we say it needs more plonk. So let me show you how to get there. First thing we're gonna do is go into the LFO section here and select number two. I don't know why I picked number two. Maybe it's because I, I wanted to save number one for something, but whatever, you can use any LFO. LFO two, and we're gonna set it to this shape. So we're just gonna drag this over like this, and drag this knob, and make it look like that. So it's like a skateboard ramp. This is what we'll be using to create our plunk. This will all stay the same, and then we set the mode to off. I tried experimenting with setting it to trigger so that the LFO would plonk every time you hit a note, but I found I like the variation instead of having it plonk sometimes and not plonk other times. Every time I say plonk, you have to take a drink, all right? We're in, we, and we've already started, so you're way behind. So let's set it up. We have the LFO here. How do we actually plonk? We're gonna go into Matrix. Don't get intimidated by all of this. This is a little bit more advanced serum stuff, but just follow along and I will make it easy. So we're gonna go to just this first section here and go into the source. And our source, what we just made was LFO number two. 
So just pick that. We want it to affect something. And I want to do the pitch. So we're going to go destination, global, master tuning. And that will affect the pitch. Make sure you're also setting type so that it's just the forward arrow. So if I play it back, you're not really hearing anything right now because we haven't actually turned it on. So here, we're going to turn up the amount. And that's essentially it. Next, we're going to add just a little bit more tastiness in order to give it some movement and some variation. So we're going to go to LFO3, set the mode back to off, the rate down to here to 8 bars. Now we're going to drag it over to the pulse width modification that we did earlier. And then we can drag this so it's not doing the whole thing. You see that it slowly moves the oscillator so that we have a bit of variation in the sound. This just makes it more dynamic. And finally, we go to effects again. I did hyperdimension, flanger, and chorus. Just once again to give it some space. Widen it out a little bit. And you just kind of use your ears. Uh, with effects, it's just easier if you use your ears rather than me telling you the exact values. Plus, that way you learn too. We want to be learning today. As for the processing, I'm adding a simple delay here, some chorus, and those are running through OTT. And finally, our RC20 to give it that Bitbird lo-fi sound. The digital is what really gives it that tinny metalness. And altogether, and that's the sound. Up next, we're going to make these Drolo drums. stops here uh, no our investigation has shown that your argument is not enough we need more accurate tutorials of actual sounds you are under arrest if you like what i'm doing here consider supporting the channel on patreon and i want to thank all my awesome patrons right here or if you're more in the mood to support for free, you can always like and sub the channel. Join the Discord, it is super poppin' and brand new, and follow me on Instagram, here's all my links, blah blah blah, peace out.